could you teach me how I should approach the wine? Like how I should maybe taste it? The most important is that, that you enjoy the wine, that you share the wine with your, with your friends, with your family, because wine is, is to share, is to enjoy. Hi guys, this is Reina from Coconuts and we're here today at a wine showcase by Bottles and Bottles featuring over 100 wines from all over the world. I'm a complete wine noob and today I'll be asking the experts here on how to choose the right wines for the right occasions for this holiday season. First of all, we should move a little uh, out of the glass. Oh. If you if you are starting, you can do in, in the table, so right. it's much easier. So what does this do? That uh, helps the, the wine to, to move, to oxygenate, and so the aromas uh, goes uh, up in, in, in the glass. Usually, we expect some nice fruits, the aroma, but the, we can smell also some minerals, some floral, some flavors of the oak. So first in the mouth is the, the level of, of sweetness. Okay. Another very important aspect is the, the body and then also the acidity. Usually a, a good wine, it should have a good acidity. Like we say in Spain, salud. Salud. The holidays are coming up. What's a good wine to bring to a party? So sometimes it's fun to bring one wine to different vintages and then you can compare because then you taste how the seasons really influence the wines. The thing about wine is there's no wrong answers, you know? So like all those people who are very stuffy about wine, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's madness, right? Because if you smell, um, you know, uh, burnt caramel, you know, that's fair because that's your nose and you perceive the wine that way. So feel comfortable, relax, but you have to choose descriptions that people know. Is it necessarily the case, like the older, the better? To me, and everyone's looking for something different, but uh, quite often I love the young wines because they're just bursting with freshness, bursting with personality. If it's great when it's young, it will generally age and be great with some maturity. But if it's not great in the first place, it's probably gonna get worse with age, not better. Is the more expensive wines necessarily better? I'll actually just simply ask the sommelier, what are your recommendations? Right. All of these restaurants that have the wine list, they've gone to a huge effort of selecting these wines uh, that work with their types of cuisines. Trust the Somme. What is cognac? We often think that cognac is a kind of a spirit, but at heart, it's a wine because we know that the cognac are made from grapes and it must be produced in cognac region and that can be called cognac. We have EXO and we have yep. uh, VSOP. So what do these mean? The first one is VS, means very special. Right. The minimum of two years. Aging. Yeah, aging, aging in the cask. And for VSOP, it means very special over the pile, minimum of four years and EXO means Extra old. Extra old. Yeah, minimal uh, 10 years. Wine is not just a tongue experience, it's an entire olfactory experience. When we tried it with a little bit of agitation, all of a sudden you get the uh, complexity and the flowers and the, um, you know, the minerality and all of these different aromas on the palate. There you have it guys, armed with some basic wine knowledge, we can go and choose wine like a boss. So let's go forth and make merry this holiday season. Coconuts TV